welcome back. It's Angela here to bring you another little episode in our Sunflower Journal. So, so good to have you here with me. I'm just wanting to give you all a warm welcome because I know it's the start of November and we've got lots happening. Don't forget to um, have a look at the A to Z of Christmas Crafting, um, part of a collaboration brought to us by Rachel and Bella. I have put details of this on my community post at YouTube, on Instagram, on my account, and of course in my Facebook group. So all the details and all the playlists with all the members taking part are there. So we would love for you to go and visit everybody's channel and see all the exciting things that are going on. All right, so back to today's project. I promised that I was going to show you how I put um, my signature into the Sunflower um, Altered Book cover. So I'm going to start off by showing you a couple of things that you need to use for today's video. So let's get going. Right, now, first thing you're going to need is either something to cover your book cover if you are wanting to cover it, that is. Sometimes the book covers are really pretty and you don't want to cover that up. I am going to cover mine up because mine um, is pretty plain on the side here. This is nice, but um, the rest of it is not the color I want to really use. All right, so I'm going to go with some wallpaper, um, and that's what I'm going to do. But this would work equally well with fabric um, or, you know, anything else that you choose to, even paper. Um, you can seal your wallpaper after you've put it on. You can seal the paper, you know, so there are options there. So wallpaper, I love working with wallpaper, especially for covers, because it's a nice soft and it's strong. It's nice and soft to work with, but it's still nice and strong. So I'm going to use this one as um, the cover. So that's the first thing you need, something to cover. Then you need your um, old book cover. So I had a, quite a collection of these Edith Holden ones that I have been collecting. So I decided to use one of these. You don't have to use this. Anything that's going to house and be the size um, of your signature will work perfectly. So go and have a look at the damaged books. You know, um, thrift stores, charity shops, often the damaged books don't go on display. Go and ask them if they are heading for the tip and save one and repurpose it. You know, you can't go wrong. Failing that, you can just use and make up a standard book cover um, from cereal boxes or anything like that. The next thing that you're going to want to use, and this might help as well for a book cover, this is the, the sort of backing card that comes with my A4 um, lined paper pad that I use at the college for the students. So I collect all of these and I have all my colleagues collect all of these because they are great, nice and firm, yet softish in a way, great for using. I'm going to use this to make a little spine in here. So these would also work really well if you wanted to make a cover because you don't have an old book. So this would be a great idea as well. So if you've got grandchildren, children, you know, great grandchildren that go to school or college and use the line pad, paper pads, ask them to save these and all their friends as well. Because I tell you, I love using these for covers for journals. All right, so that's that. So we're getting a collection here. Um, I am going to be using some masking tape just to reinforce my spine. And I love using this. Um, you're going to need some ne a needle. Um, I've got a darning needle here. Um, and whatever it is that you normally bind your books with. This is crochet thread, so I use that. Um, I wanted a little snippet of lace just to put at the top and bottom on the bits of spine, so you need that. Um, I've got a piece of fabric here. This is 100% cotton. It, anything that you are going to be happy with as far as fabric is concerned, we're going to line this either side of our spine, so make some, something durable. Um, then the other thing that you need is I've got two sheets of paper. I've printed off the green gingham one. I'm going to use these to line either side of my, the inside of my covers as well. So whichever ones you choose to use. So that's two of those. I've printed this on 160 GSM or 60 pound weight. So that's going to suffice for me. That's what I usually do. All right. So those are some of the bits that you need. Obviously, you need your signature as well. Whether that's decorated or undecorated, that's up to you. That's a personal preference, I think. But um, yeah, I've got mine half decorated, so I'm in the middle there today. All right. So we're going to start off by um, sorting out the cover here. 
and the first thing I want to do is I have cut this ready for um, to go on here but I want to just sort out the spine the spine here is a bit um, soft especially around the edges and um, you can use some Tyvek tape you can use Tyvek paper whatever you want my go-to is masking tape because it's already sticky and it really does a good job you can put down a bit of glue if you're wanting to um, ensure that it's going to stay but i've never had a problem with it um, and books that i've made uh, you know two years ago that i have are still in perfect nick from this so you can or you can't it's up to you all right so i just want to get it over this uh, fold line here um, so I want to just start by doing that. And I'm not going to take it right to the top, but I'm going to take it just short of where my book side, you know, lining paper is. So I just want to get that um, lined up here just to reinforce the sort of fold lines here. So that's what I'm going to do first of all. So we're going to just put down three pieces of this, one over each side and then one over the middle bit sort of. So I'm not going to get that a bit straighter okay I love masking tape because it's got a nice color um, so you know you can't go wrong with that and um, well it works well for for my purposes everybody uses different things um, so we want to make sure that's nice and stuck down and then I'm just going to put one through the middle here so we'll just get that in the middle here a little bit lower like that. There we go. Right. Job's done. Okay. So we've just given a little bit of reinforcement to our spine here now. Now if you give it a little wiggle, it feels so much sturdier here without, you know, messing up the actual bendiness of it. It just feels so much sturdier. So that's what I'd like to do. Okay, so we've got that bit done. Now, uh, we're going to put this cover on here. This is a quick job. You've seen me do this many times. I'm probably going to end up speeding this up. But the first thing I like to do is really start with the spine itself. So I'm going to just hold this up like this, which is difficult when you've got curly. Oh, <laughs> let me use my punch. <laughs> my punch. Yeah just to keep it a bit flatter right i'm going to start with the the middle bit here and just get i'm using fabri-tac um because i think it's the best for this and i just want to get some of this glue down the center of the spine and it does seem a shame to go over edith holden's spine but you know i'm giving it a lease in life rather than throwing it away because that would be terrible Right, so all the glue on here. Okay, so now we want to just, oops, get this centralized here before I drop it down. You need seven pairs of hands when you do this. Um, so I've got the corners here. I'm holding it up in the middle. I have pretty much, I um, think I've got this pretty straight here. I've got about an inch over each edge that's uh, wider than the size of this um, book, pay, um, book cover. So I'm hoping that that is pretty much the right spot. Once I've taken my punch away here, then I've got a little bit of time just to check on that. And I think that's about it. So I'm going to just press that nicely down over there like that. Right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up, but I'm just going to, uh, yeah, well, we need to stick the sides down first. So I will speed this up. My process is one side at a time. Then I cut around the um, corners here and you'll see me do that. And then it's just gluing everything down like a present, pretty much. All right. So. I'll see you, <laughs> you can watch and maybe I'll put some music up.
everyone so you can see there we have covered this pretty much like a present and we should have some nice um, pointed corners at the end there just by tucking a little bit over like you saw me do now if you wanted a slow motion version of this I do have other videos where I do this um, I'll try and remember to put some of those in the description box all right so um, we've got our cover sorted here um, just allowing that to dry and while I, do, while, I, while I do that, just want to talk you through about the little bit of spine that I'm going to put in there. Now, the way I do that, and really I should take these off, is about measuring the inside of that spine here. And the easiest way to do that with a book, or any way really, is to, um, you just need to lift this up here quickly. It's not quite dry, so I'm just sort of jumping the gun. Um, but you want to measure that inside bit there to there. All right, so if you just um, feel it out, you can even do it with your fingers, you know, and you, you're looking for the line that goes from there to there. So and that's an inch, just over an inch. I'm going to go with an inch because why I say that is you want a nice snug fit. You don't when you lift these um wings up want to have the spine bulging you want it to lay flat and be nice and cradled in the spine area here all right so that's what we're going to do um how i do that is i use this the back of the pad that i was talking about which is like a reformed card um it's well i don't think it's reformed but it's it's really sturdy um and what i've done is i measure the width of that which is just over an inch, about inch thereabouts. Um, and then I'm going to measure the length of this here. Now I want to make it slightly um, shorter than the top there. So I will cut mine um, slightly smaller. Now my spine, just to give you an indication, is just short of nine and a half inches. Just short. All right. And I am actually going to cut mine. Uh, that it's resting like that so you can see i've got about a quarter of an inch on each side here so i've cut mine to nine inches and i've cut it an inch wide okay so um, i've taken off and made it an inch that's going to make it rest nice and snugly in the middle here so that when i open up the wings like this and lift them up like that let me get that there and show you press that down if i do that you can see that it's going to lie flat there and not bow. All right, so there you know you've got the right size. Now that will depend on um, the book cover that you're using, uh, the length, the width and everything else. But just leave a little bit from the top, so about a quarter of an inch, and make sure that you make it ever so slightly narrow, just short of a quarter of an inch, um, maybe an eighth of an inch um, in between the two, just so that it's going to rest nice and snugly in the middle here. All right, so that's what you want to do. Now, I've cut that to size. Mine was nine inches by one inch. And what I did was I've just taken a piece of paper because obviously I don't want that color showing. You can stamp that, do whatever you want. I've just taken a scrap of paper. This is my vintage uh, lace sheets that were with my tea and avo stain page. Um, and I've just covered it um, with the Fabri-Tac glue and inked the edges. So that's what's going to be resting in here. This is also the bit that I'm going to use to sew my signature to. Okay, so that's the other thing to remember. So I've got that ready there. The next bit you want to do is um, measure your fabric. Your fabric is going to rest, uh, nestle nicely in here like that. Um, I have made it so my it's like... Let's see if that's an inch. Yeah, this is like I've got this three, three and a half inches wide, my fabric. So it's two and a half inches wider than my spine. And it is the length of my spine, ever so slightly short, a quarter of an inch shorter. OK, that is going to end up going in here as soon as I've put these side pages on. OK, so I think we're pretty much ready with um, the glue setting here. So I can take off my little uh, quilting clips. The handiest tool I probably have. <laughs> right, so we've got those there. Um, and now what we want to do is 
we want to get the, the pages ready here because those will go on before the, the fabric that goes on. All right, so I've printed two of these. They are too short to go that way, so they will be going this way. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's fine. Uh, the writing is not the right way, but I'm not really worried about that. So what I'm going to do is, if you have a look, I've got like a quarter of an inch from each side that I'm going to measure there, there, and at the bottom, so we can do that. Um, and just to measure it here, I'm going to take it up to this point over here. So uh, about a, a half an inch um, away from the edge of my spine. All right. So you don't want it to go into the fold line. That is a definite no-no. So let's just take it there and my spine uh, fold is there. All right. The fabric will cover this. So that's fine. Um, a little bit further than that. So I'm just getting that right there. And I'm just measuring it here as well. Okay, so I've got my marks there for that way and that way. All right, so we can cut those, two of those. You want one from this side and one for that side. Okay, so I have just given it a light inking around the edges here. As you can see, very light with my vintage photo. I'm now going to just stick these down. Um, on each side and get that done. All right, so I will probably speed this up here. Okay guys, so we've got those bits stuck down there and I'm very happy with that. So it's coming together really nicely. We're going to put our fabric in the middle here, but I want to put a little bit of the lace at the top. So we've just got a little bit of lace peeking out um, at the top there and at the bottom. All right, so I don't want it really to extend beyond the fold line too much. So we are going to have to, well, I need to get my fabric scissors out. So going to try my best here just to do it from one to the other so not too big just slightly wider than the spine so this is just a bit of cotton vintage lace and um, I just like a little bit of frilliness coming out so let's see I wanted probably just ever so slightly peeking over the top there and here so I'm going to try this one first um, something like that so I'm going to put this glue just on the top here there we go plenty of it right so we'll just get that maneuvered in place and it's ever just the little peaks are sticking out there okay then we'll do the same on this side so I'm going to just turn it around it's easier for me to see and again, just see here, like that. Okay, now I've got the fabric bit. So you can see when we put the fabric down, uh, we'll be gluing that in. And you can just see the tops of that there and the tops of this here. Okay, now I might want to make this just slightly... Oh, this might be a mistake. Who knows? <laughs> I'm going to try it. It might be too narrow to tear it. Yeah, it is. So we'll be cutting it. <laughs> I just want to cut that just a bit smaller. So I've got a little bit more lace peeking through. And I'm sure that it will ruffle up, you know, as it does. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's just even it up there a bit. Okay, so we've got our fabric now, and we've got a bit of lace peeking through like that. So the cut side I'm going to put at the bottom, and the rip side I'm going to put at the top. Right, is this now, I think, is that the side I want? I think that's the side I want. So I'm going to have it like this. This is the point where you want to decide which which is the front and which is the back. Okay, so we want to... Um, get this stuck in here I've got glue all over my fingers sorry and I want to get this stuck down so I'm going to sorry I'm going to start with the the middle here and um, Fabri-Tac's a great glue to use for this so um, we'll get that all stuck down there first and then I can see 
we will, we will need to put some on here and we will need to do some on the sides but we'll do the sides last so just a bit on here as well and there we go right so this is the top and we're going to just get that i think that's about the spot more or less just checking i've got enough on each side yeah now it doesn't matter if the glue is going to seep through in this occasion because we're going to put something um we're going to put our spine in here still so you know that's not a problem at all just make sure that you get that nice and snug and now you know why you've cut a quarter of, you know between an eighth and a quarter of an inch off your spine which we will double check before we uh, go and use that and sew it onto our signature right now want to put some glue on here want to keep this one now a little bit sparser because this will throw 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 listen to me show through um onto the fabric if you're not careful all right so that's why i do it separately um so that I'd, i have a lighter hand when i'm doing it so there we go i hope that's enough let's get that down then and just you know move your hands towards from the center to the outer edge there we go and i didn't get in um very much glue peeking through if none at all really okay so there's that side and okay so again start in the middle and then just work your way to the top like that okay so we've got that stuck down all right so i'm gonna let that dry that was my front oh there's just a bit here that i need to deal with there we go these corners all nicely stuck down they are okay so we'll let that dry for a little bit um, we're going to now sew our signature into this, which then settle and we will glue that into our um, center bit over here. I just want to make sure that when I hold this here and I bring up my wings, I'm calling them, <laughs> the covers, that this is going to still be nice and nestled in there without bowing, which it is. Okay, so we're all right. We've still got the right size. If at this point it is bowing, you can take a little um, sliver off the side of this. All right, but that looks quite comfy there. If I bring that up and hold that down, that looks like it's going to do the job and lie flat. Okay, that's the test. So there we go. Right, so I am now going to show you how to do this bit right we'll put that to the side for the moment um what i did was i just took a scrappy bit of paper um probably two inches wide i it doesn't matter i have folded it in half the length is important what i did was i matched it to my spine okay so that's the important bit um you want it the length of the spine and that is because you've got to match this up to your signature which you want to make sure you've got in the right spot here so that when you put your um, holes together they're going to line up with your spine okay so I'm going to then just put that to the side grab my pencil and my ruler and I want to just open this up again now I want to do find the center mark here all right so I'm, I'm on the fold line now this I think should be nine inches. It is all right. So I'll work in inches, but you can do this in any measurement. It doesn't matter. All right. So we've got the nine inch mark, and what I want to do is find the middle mark, which is four and a half. So I'm making a little spot there. Now I like to work a half an inch um, from the top, but because this the signature is for mine is sh a lot shorter. Um, you know, you are looking uh, at a bit of a difference on each side, which is fine. Um, but I'm going to take this down to an inch from each side. OK, so I'm going to measure from the center, from the top of each side. I'm going to measure an inch here. And an inch here. 
All right, so that way I'll ensure that I catch the top of my signature, which at the moment is going to be about there. Okay, now all I need to do is you want to just find a halfway mark between this dot and that dot. So we're looking at three and a half, and I'm going to move to centimeters now. It'll probably be easier. Um, it doesn't really matter what you're using, just as long as you uh, get the halfway mark. All right, so I want to get the halfway mark there, and we want to get the halfway mark here. Now I'm just gauging. It's not really about the measurement here. Um, whatever. And there we go. Okay, so we've got all of our holes in place. Now, got my little metal pokey tool, got my little piece of sponge, and it's just a case of poking on the little dots that you've made. Like that. All right, so this is the template that we're going to use now for our journal. Now, make one of the a little note here for yourself, which side the top is. Um, just so that these might not be exactly right. At least if you make a hole like this at the top, you know that if you use this on the right side up on your journal, you're going to have the hole matching up um, for the spine as well. All right, so we want to do the same here. We want to find a middle marking. I'm going to do it on the back. So I'm going to just find a middle mark here, which will be half an inch really. Okay, so I'm going to just do that there and here. I'm going to just join that up. Okay, and that's the middle bit of my spine. Now these two should match up. So you can just take your clips. I'm just lining it up with the line there on the fold line. If it will stand still would be good and then the same here and now I can just take this little tool and press the holes right through my spine as well okay so now we know and I'm going to do this with pencil I'm going to um, turn this around this is the top so let's just double check it is i'm gonna just put a little t at the top there and i can rub that out when i'm finished just so that i know what i'm dealing with okay so we've got that all sorted those are ready to go we want to grab hold of this now and um, this is the moment of truth <laughs> uh, you want to get your signature together um, make sure that you match up all those folded pages it is awkward when you've got a lot of stuff in here tap them to make sure that they lie flat at the bottom and that everything that you're doing is going to be where you want it to be so you might want to just peek through the various pages to make sure they are where you want them to be and i think i'm happy with that so i'm, I'm now just making sure that i grip them all to the the front there like that so I'm pushing my nails into the, the seat, the fold line. I'm going to just put my little clip on there and I'm doing the same here. You've seen me do this before. So it's not easy to do this when you're filming. <laughs> I will say that. Okay. Right. So we're going to just jam our thumbs in there. It does get easier with with practice though, i will say that not the filming bit but <laughs> you know right now we've got the top this is the upright position there's the top we want to tuck that into our little fold line here um and we want to just get those um centralized now you'll see you've got a bit of a gap there and there just make sure that that's even on both sides more or less you can gauge that with your eyes just tuck that in um, get that there and I think that's all right now you, I'm gonna hold it up with my fingers I'm gonna use my little spongy bit and I'm going to use the pokey tool and look for the holes and um, press that right through all right so we're just gonna do that all along where we've made the holes
keep your pokey tool dead straight if you can so that you get it where you need it. And the last one here. Okay, so we've got our holes in place. Now we can just take off the um, template. So I want to just keep it in place, but just remove the template itself. So there's that side. And then this one I can just pull out. Okay. Right. Now, I want to grab this. And remember, we've got the T for the top. And we've got our thread. So I'm going to try and tuck this in here like that and I'll probably end up speeding this up. I do have a very detailed video on how to do the five um, whole pamphlet stitch sewing in. Oh, so I have just about finished this and noticed that the camera has uh, ceased to record so <laughs> probably just as well because I had a few moments but I do have a video as I said um, which will give you exactly how I do this you want to make sure that these strings are really tight um, and before you um, go and you know tie a knot here make sure that these are all really nice and tight by just plucking the strings there Okay, so I've got that either side there. I've got it all onto that now and just make a couple of knots. So some that way, some the other way. I just do three. Um, and there we go. And now we're ready just to cut these strings, probably about there. Okay, and I can sort that out at a later point. All right, so we've got it all um, sewn onto this spine here now. So that's looking great. Everything's on form. We can bring back our uh, fabric cover now. And now this will be going and resting nicely in there and we'll glue that down. So I'm just going to probably, just gauging here before I glue it down, A, that I have it in the right, <laughs> right position. So this is the front and this is in the right position. And now we want to just see where exactly I will be placing this before I go and stick it down. So I think that that is pretty much the position. So I need to line it up over there. So it's easy enough. You just grip this bit like that. Put a load of glue on here. This is the bit that's going to be, um, you know, holding it all down into the, the, the cover. So you want to make sure you get loads of glue on here. Um, and I'm, I'm really doing a heavy job of it. Uh, hopefully it won't ooze out too much. You know, but hey-ho, I'd rather have that and have this firmly stuck in place. So, yeah, get that all perfectly done. Well, I've still got a couple of um, tutorials that I'll be doing on bits that are going in the journal. Uh, so I hope to get that all done so that next Tuesday we can start with um, Christmas because I will be doing my Christmas A to Z of Christmas crafting. So I'm going to, <laughs> I'm just angling to see where it needs to be and I said it needed to be there. I'm just checking on both sides that I'm happy with where I've placed it. And I think I am, if I lift this up and I lift this up, oops, it looks like it's in the right spot, uh, both sides. So we we'll just get that up there and that up there, yeah. So we want to just get that stuck down nicely, like that. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to have to hold this for a little bit just until I'm, I'm happy with it sort of drying. And you might want to prop it up here with something on either side of it, um, just so that it can dry properly before you um, fold it up. I mean, you can really just find the center spread here uh, like that and let that drop like that. That's going to be fine um, as well, you know. So 
don't worry about that but uh yeah we want to make sure that i wouldn't close this until it's properly dried all right so i'm not gonna i'm just running my fingers down the side of the spine here and here it's looking good okay so i will show you how that all turns out once it's dried and i'll come back and show you then Hello everyone, back again. I've left this standing for about two and a half hours there. So I thought I'd come back and um, let's see how it's turned out. So we stuck in our spine over here. Um, I haven't lifted it up yet. Um, so that was glued nicely in there. Um, and that's our centre spread. So we've got, um, most of this is done. We've got a couple of pages that need a few things. So I'll get onto that. Um, now what we want to do is I um, just like to lift the pages up a little bit, just get them straight um, and then the moment of truth where we are going to lift this up carefully. I do love how that's looking um, and we can stand that up and if you have a look there now, um, you'll see we've got a little bit of lace there. I'll probably stick that down a little better. Um, and you can see that the, that spine there is not bowing. It's not going like this. So that's nice and firmly in there. And it's looking great how it's all come together. Um, if I look at the two sides here and here, it is half an inch on either side that it, um, you know, below on the, on the, in the, in the cover itself. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, and if I close it this way, um, you see I've got some tabs here. I've got quite a bit of space there, but remember I have got tabs that we made um, at the start. These still need to go on. Um, so, for example, if you've got a tab going here, you know, you've got plenty of room where that's not going to get damaged. So it might be a little bit long there, but I'm happy with that. I really feel that it's enabled me to go beyond the edge of the page and I've got all sorts of bits here that are going to be quite safe and not get damaged. So I don't mind that at all. All right. So, yeah, it's all stuck down really well using that Fabri-Tac. Quite happy with that. I like it. It's, it's a little bit chunky, but yeah, not too bad. That's why I only did the one signature for this. It's, it's ample. Um, I will think about any decoration that I might want to do on the front here, and I, I will do something. Um, but at the moment, that's today's video, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll probably go and put two little bits on the end there because I like to put something on there. But yeah, I'll have another video for you on Friday, um, finishing up another uh, blank page or two that we have in here. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope that you've had fun watching along and following along. Go give this a go. It's turned out um, quite, um, it's turned out exactly how I hoped it would. So I'm thrilled about that. So go and give it a try. You can do this. It's easy. <laughs> You've got to keep telling yourself that, guys. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Have a wonderful week. Um, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.